An Analysis of Peter S. Beagle's The Last Unicorn by Amy Cox The Last Unicorn is a fantastic tale of one unicorn's epic voyage to find others of her own kind, with the help of a mediocre wizard and a girl named Molly Grew. A quick glimpse through the pages reveals a vast array of colors and detailed artwork. In Understanding Comics, The Invisible Art, Scott McCloud defines several concepts that create a compelling comic. Beagle makes heavy use of one of these forms in particular to make the last unicorn especially visually captivating. Bleeds are defined by McCloud as a panel that runs off the edge of a page, and that such images can set the mood or a sense of place for whole scenes through their lingering, timeless presence. Beagle utilized this notion extensively. Notice how the artwork spans the entire page. There is no white space or gutter. These pages, for example, describe how the unicorn had spent a very long time in her forest. Note the lack of straight borders or distinct paneling to help evoke a sense of timelessness. This is quite a contrast from the stereotypical comic that is displayed in separated blocks. Oftentimes, a combination of bleeds and panels are used, as you can see here. Far more detail and scenery can be included this way. This was perhaps done to appeal to fans of the movie adaptation. Movies pack a lot of visual information in a short amount of time, and I think Beagle's comic version makes an attempt to emulate this. Bleeds are also a brilliant method of helping the reader envision a larger fantasy world, unencumbered by conventional rules or laws of nature. It creates a more immersive reading experience, and also helps move the story along at a quicker pace to maintain interest. In short, The Last Unicorn is replete with stunning visuals that encompass each page in their entirety, invoking a sense of time and place far grander than what could have been attained with a traditional paneling scheme. It is arguably the most compelling feature of the comic, and is certainly the reason it piqued my interest. Be sure to check out Ammon and Ellie's comic analyses too, and thanks for watching!